Yo, what's up? There was a ban wave yesterday for cheaters. Why are you on a new account? Not yesterday, on the 14th. Um, I was banned four months ago. Four months ago, so how can you on a new account today then? Because my new account was shadow banned for two months and I didn't figure that out until like a week ago. Shadow banned for two months? Shadow banned last seven days. I've been perma banned in this game for an unlocked tool and I've also been shadow banned for the last seven days and no longer. Well, I was perma banned on my main account and then I made a yeah, new I account was and shadow I was, banned. I've been and perma I tried on two accounts. And it's like shadow banned still. Yeah, I've been okay, permitted on two care. accounts. And then I was like shadow banned like a week later. I tried again, so I just stopped See, so your ego is massive, bro. You can't even have like, a civil yeah. conversation with somebody. Your ego is huge, bro. What the fuck? Damn. What do you mean? Damn, bro. What your what ego is massive. Oh my god. What did I say? <laughs> you said, I don't care. We was having a civil conversation. And I was explaining to you that I've been perma banned and I know how the system works. I've been permitted on two accounts for an unlock tool. I know how the system so works. So what you're saying is you think I'm cheating? What I'm saying is, why was you permabanned? That's what I'm asking. I can admit that I was permabanned for an unlock tool. I had a modded account. I bought a modded account on somebody. That's the reason I got permabanned. I don't hide that. Me I'm asking, and like... I was asking, why was you permabanned? got hit by the same band wave. Like right. Okay. Two, so the only the only reason that somebody would get perma Let me see the exact date. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, tell you this. I know like the way that the ban system works on this game. They do ban waves on detected cheats. That's the way that the ban system works on this uh on this game. Meaning you have had to have had cheats to be banned. In my case, I got banned for a modded account, which is still a cheated account, which is understandable. Me and a bunch of my friends, like, there's Creo mobbing in control. All of us got hit by the same bandwave, and none of us had modded unlock tools, none of us had anything. Well, you must have done because the we way that the. the, same the and I know people yeah. in my TikTok comments are saying they got hit by the same bandwave and they weren't cheating either. The only way that you would get permaband on this game is if uh, cheat okay, files have been detected that. on your PC. Cool. No, I'm telling you how the system actually works. Well, Battle.net does a scan on your PC to see if these detected files that are from a cheat engine are on your PC. If they are, then you will get permabanned. That means that at some okay. point, you must have used a cheat engine of some sort. I've never cheated. The only time I've then, ever cheated on any game is when I was like 7 years old and I got fly hacks in Roblox. So it was literally the only thing I fucking did. You must have but cheated you can at think some that point. I don't really give a no, shit no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just, really I'm having a civil conversation. That. I'm not saying you was cheating in the game that you're playing. I'm not saying you're currently cheating. I was genuinely concerned to why you're on a new account. And I'm telling you how the band system works because I've done my research. I've got two perma band accounts and I've been shadow banned about 50 times. I know how the system works. Is Activision pay for the cheats? They reverse engineer the cheats. You can... See what files are left over on your PC after the cheats have been run. Then what they do is they upload them files to okay. the anti-cheat system. The anti-cheat cool, system huh? then searches your PC to see if them files are on your PC. The I'm way that the ban system works on this game was impossible I, for it to I, be a false positive. Really, I'm what I'm telling you, you they could not be a false positive of because of the way it works. Ban waves only work if the detected files are on your PC. That's why console players that okay. have oh, cool. a modded account also got permabanned because the PC that their account was on had detected files. Meaning any account that had been on that PC got permabanned. That's why a lot of console players that had modded accounts, the modded calling cards for instance, which are not available to everybody, they got permabanned. Because their account has been on a PC okay, that had detected cool. files but on like, it. What I'm telling you is that I never cheated. Like that's cool. Well, you can say that as much that as you like, not, that's but literally, but yeah, there's literally no false. As as you like. I don't there's care no if you think I was cheating. False positives I don't for care if you ever thought I was cheating. I know. For no, fact I, no, I, I never cheated. said you was cheating really in the game that we played. I'm cheated. not saying that you're currently cheating. I'm, I'm saying you have cheated for the fact. I'm saying I never cheated before. I'm saying that you have because of the way that the band system works. I could not care less if you think I cheated. Because of the way that the band system works, you you was cheating at some point. I.e. it could have been a modded account you with modded that. camos I, on I it, really or a calling care, card, it could have been I aimbot, it could have been wall cheat. hacks, it could have been any of the above. I cannot tell you what you was using, but and you I have used something at some point on your PC which was detected. Which is not true, but you can think that, I don't care. 
Okay, go do your research about uh, band waves, and you'll figure out how the system works. Bad Boy Beam is a YouTuber who oh, uh, really need to do who research. calls out cheaters. He's a very good example to find out your research. Also, Charlie Intel also okay. did an entire article on their website about uh, about the band wave system and how it works as well. I and it's literally not impossible for it to be a false positive. I really don't. I really don't care that you think that. You can think of Jamal's why I don't give a shit what you think. You like, cheated at some point, mate. That's why you got permabanned. That. That's you legit why you got permabanned. I've got a question. Do you have, an, you do you have a hex care. editor? Do you have a hex editor? A what? Okay, next question. Do you have cheat engine? Which you, you can't use no, on this I game. You, you can use it. You can use it on single player games. It's there to modify single player games. That's what Cheat Engine is. That's why I'm asking. Because that's also detected. I, I don't know what that is. The only time okay. I ever had hacks and it was on a different PC is when I used Fly Hacks and Roblox when I was six. The only time I installed anything for cheats. Hmm. Well, um, my opinion is, and the opinion of Activision, and that's why they do ban waves, is because it's impossible for there to be a false positive. Because of the way that the system works. And I don't care what your they reverse, is. They reverse they engineer the cheats. Us. Find the files that are left over. If you have used the cheat at some point, there will be files left over on your PC. So they've found files like I said, that are left over. That, I still don't and care. then they basically scan your PC to see if these files are on your PC. If the files are not there, you're fine. If they are there, then you get banned. That's why you can't appeal the cheat. Because it is literally impossible for it to be a false positive.